Hello, I'm Chuck Phillip with South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of this abandoned home. And so I'm standing in one and it probably was built in the 30s or 40s. It could be earlier than that. It looks like they may have added on to this in certain places. Um, I don't think you're going to have to tear this one down because it's, it, it's tearing itself down. You can kind of sort of see that. Uh, if you look at these tiles right there, uh, that probably goes to the 40s, 50s, and even 60s, and uh, some of that actually contains asbestos or potentially could. You'd have to send it off for testing to confirm that, but uh, this wouldn't stop me from buying a house, by the way, and because based on what I understand about this tile, you pretty much have to grind on it, and so it, I, it wouldn't bother me. Uh, but you can see they got a center block wall, 8 by 8 by 16. See the anchor right there. And more than likely, this probably came from Underwood Builder Supply and Mobile. I used to work there. Didn't stay there too long. Little red wagons about had it. Not really sure which is the front and the back to this. That three tab shingle. Here's the old water heater that definitely looks 1960s to me. Oh, look at that, just a pull switch for the disconnect. really thick I should have brought my machete Let's see if I can get through this stuff here yeah there we go look at the termite tubes yeah, this thing's definitely got termites and so if you ever want to know what those look like that's it and sometimes they're really thin tubes like that there. Uh, it's been in, a, in February, there's probably no activity in them. And, but know this guys, if you're on a crawl space, usually these tunnels are on the inside, not the out, so you'd never know you had them. And you can see that from just looking from the outer part of this wall, uh, that, that you can't see them because they're in the wood. They do a really good job of hiding. And that's going to be the vent pipe for the water heater there. Let's see if I can make my way back through this. This has probably been abandoned uh, for about 30 years, maybe more. Yeah, more than likely they just added on to this thing over the years. There's some more termite tubes there. Termites may have ate part of this down. And they just got tired of eating on it and went on to something else. This is actually a dirt dauber nest. Uh, that's what these things are. Well, there's really not much else to talk about with this one here. Uh, I kind of find these fascinating, and if you'd like to go look at the other ones I have, I actually created a playlist for these abandoned houses because, you know, I kind of sort of learned about what the inner structure of these are, you know, being broke apart like this. It also gives me an idea about how well building materials can hold up in extreme conditions, too. And so, yeah, go check out those others on the channel I have here on the playlist, Abandoned Homes. And also check out the other playlists as far as how to take care of your house to uh, prevent it from coming like what we're seeing. Uh, thanks for t taking the time to watch this, guys. Take care.